Broadway quality live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. I play Brooke Wyeth, and I've come home, I've written a book about our brother who has passed away, who we don't talk about in the family. So it's a lot about family secrets and what comes out through the, through the writing of this book. You had a decent run. Three years in marriage these days is like 20 when you guys were kids. And it starts off super fast and funny, and there's lots of banter, and they're smart, funny people. And then all of a sudden you start to realize, ooh, there's lots of secrets. Really, I don't think you have anything to be nervous about said the spider to the fly. God, I just love how right off the bat you assume it's a hit and run job on you, Mom. Well, it's written by John Robin Bates, who is brilliant, and he wrote Brothers and mm -hmm. Sisters, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with from television. And West Wing, West 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. that kind of yeah. banter is and as film. titillating and exciting as any Cole Porter or mm -hmm. Stephen Sondheim song. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, 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 I take the lovely little pills, and I see the blessed Dr. Layton every week, twice a week, and I do yoga, and I eat right. And I've learned optimism, just like the magazines told us to, and now I know how to handle it. She hasn't been here in a long time, and we want this to be, as it starts out, the greatest day of her life. That's what I think. This is going to be the greatest day of my <laughs> life. And maybe it isn't. You know what, Polly? If I have to go on one more second keeping secrets, I'd rather live alone. I swear to you I love you, but I would rather live alone than on one more second of this. I think of it as a bit of a thriller because of these secrets. So there's a lot going on. Plus, the arc of the play, there is a lot of humor. The best dramas, for me, yeah. have a lot of humor, a lot of fun, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it kind of runs the gamut. I could sue you, but that would make an even bigger splash. You could sue me? Sure. Uh, families do it all the time. Ask Trip. Mm. It would cost a great deal for the family, to our friends, to our son and to her, if she knows too much. And it is actually protection of her as much as for our son. Honey, newsflash, you're not a Texan, you're a Jew. I'm Silda, I'm Polly's sister, I'm the, the good aunt. I'm also an alcoholic, <coughs> drug addict, uh, lesbian. <laughs> um, yeah. Look at this, Don Rumsfeld's paying a visit to the troops of Baghdad. Isn't that a nice, thoughtful Christmas present? Maybe while he's out in the desert, he can dig up some of them weapons of mass destruction. No, 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 no discussions of the war. So it's also political. I mean, we're, we're the liberals, you know, the kids and me are the liberals and the, and, and the, and the Republicans. And, uh, and then it just becomes something else entirely. We become really just people with human, human problems. Mom, I'm just telling you, I love everyone here. And I will not be playing. Tripp's role in this is he's sort of like the peacemaker. He just wants this family to have a beautiful Christmas and have fun. And he knows, because of, I'm sure, the history of these guys, we, I'm sure we always get into fights, which is universal to any family. But he's just trying to keep everybody light, and he's balancing his sister, Brooke, against his parents. He kind of knows what's going to happen. You know what, all of you? There are at least three places I could have been right now. Cape Town, Punta del Este, or Bahia. There are girls with fun families and beach houses where you can swim and drink and laugh. I am loving playing Trip just because for me as an actor, I get to do everything. I get to be funny, I get to be serious. Um, you know, I, I, I was just, it's great language. The story of your brother, it's drugs. Your whole generation awash in drugs. What I do love is when I can feel the audience really listening and really on our side, and kind of leaning forward, uh, that's when it makes it really fun. Yeah. But uh, it's just a great play. It's probably one of the, my, my favorite plays that I have ever had the opportunity to work on. There are parts you don't understand. You were way too then young. explain them, you never have. You know, when a lot of truths get revealed, I'm fighting, I'm passionately fighting for what I want, and then when the truth comes out, that's sort of like the rug gets pulled out from under me. So it's just sort of delicious, the whole thing. What? You didn't think there were any consequences to telling the truth?